We are getting used to the fact that every time Megan releases one of the episodes of her Ars Wipes podcast, well, uh, two things happen. First, uh, many people just uh, get bored uh, less than halfway through. And two, uh, we get an example of all the contradictions that, uh, thanks to uh, third parties, well, begin to rise on everything that the Duchess says. And in this case, we got this, uh, well, instant reaction to uh, her latest episode about the bimbos with Paris Hilton. Meghan Markle's former Deal or No Deal co-star fires back at her claims that she was reduced to a bimbo and objectified on the show, insisting briefcase girls were chosen based on their outgoing personalities, which, uh, well, I think it has nothing to do with being uh, 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 dull or dumb or anything. Meghan Markle's former Deal or No Deal co-star has fired back. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Claudia Jordan who appeared alongside Megan, 41, on Real Housewives of Atlanta star Claudia Jordan, who appeared alongside Megan in the 2000s, uh, posted a furious rant about the Duchess on her Instagram stories on Tuesday, hitting out at claims that she made about the show during the latest episode of her podcast, Archetypes. You might remember that Megan in her episode said that she quit because she felt she was being objectified, revealing that she was forced to get regular spray tans. Well, that would explain the 15 shades of Meg, I guess. And wear a padded bra. She claimed her time in the show made her feel not smart because it was all about looks. But according to Claudia, that was not the case, at least not for all of the models involved. Well, by the way, if you're in a TV show and you know what the job is about to, uh, to smile for the camera and you know that, well, you're, you're, uh, the requirements, the job requirements itself, it's uh, not about if you can like get two plus two right. Okay, so uh, it's 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 a bit misleading what Megan is saying because well she was actually not forced to do this. This she did on her own. Nobody coerced her into this. And here's her co-star. However, Claudia insisted that producers work to highlight the models with the most outgoing and fun personalities, adding that she never felt like a bimbo while on the show. And this makes sense because it's not about just being pretty, or having a pretty face or a nice looking body or, or, or well, that, that helps. But in these cases, personalities is something that you, will, you can tell by body language and you need that... Um, that vibe, especially for a TV show, I'm sure you have stumbled upon people that are beautiful on the outside and they are just plain dull uh, with their personalities, like they are not interesting or, or don't have charisma at all, even if they are beautiful. So this is important. Slam Megan for her comments, explaining that the show never treated them like bimbos and that it helped provide so many opportunities for them. And in this case, I think uh, Megan has been ungrateful as well. So many things. We know her experience with the royal family that uh, somehow she wants to smear them for whatever she claims they did. And I think this is no different. And that's what we have been saying in uh, and well, for this episodes of Arse Wipes, and she's trying to retcon or re rewrite the narrative of her life, putting all these people that from her past like evil. Well, if she paints her own father as evil as what he did, and makes sure to pull at the heartstrings in a way to manipulate the audience, well, you know that everything is possible. The sky is the limit. For clarity, yes, getting a modeling gig on a game show isn't necessarily about your intellect, but every show the executive producers pick five models with the most outgoing and fun personalities to place mics on, who they knew would engage with the contestants, she wrote on a post shared to her Instagram stories. And if there's anything that we could learn from this, it's this amazing insight from Claudia. The reality star added that it's the kind of opportunity that is what you make of it. She added, if you just show up and don't engage, then you'll get your check and not get much of it. But if you show up and seize your moments, there's no limits to what you can do 
with the opportunity. And, and that is a terrific insight because I think it has to do a lot with living the moment and thank, being thankful for uh, whatever you get to do. I get to do this. I heard that in these days. Like sometimes you can wake up uh, one day or wake up every day and say, oh my God, I, I have to do this, I have to do that. No, you have the privilege of getting to do it even if it's a chore. Okay, that's, I think that's the inside we have to, that, that's the way we have to live our lives. Uh, like it's the only way to live a fulfilled life, being happy to do what we do, and of course, always improving. If you don't like where, are, where you are now, and you look for ways to improve, to move to, uh, what do you want? But of course, you have to define what do you want in the first place. And that way you will have a better idea where are you going? Because if you don't know where are you going, then whatever will um, suit you. But at the same time, you will be dissatisfied with everything. So I, I think I think Megan is trying to, well, paint this like black or white. Like this was just plain evil. Like she was just uncomfortable in this. When, well, uh, that open door, that open doors for other um, uh, roles that, well, I, I already made fun of, uh, you know, what kind of roles she had uh, after that, but I'm, I'm not gonna go over it again now. So you either complain that you were treated like a bimbo and you were in a TV show with a, a short uh, dress and not valued for your intellect, or you can think like this. It was a step on the ladder I've been ascending on for 25 years that paid all my bills, put me in front of 13 million people a night, and led to me getting on Celebrity Apprentice, Celebrity Apprentice All Stars, a breast cancer awareness campaign, guest hosting extra, getting into people's magazines, 100 most beautiful issue, and so much more. So I've told you many times that we're talking about royal gossip and all this, well, insights from the uh, Montecito Duchess that may be negative, may be a bit, uh, well, oh my God, rolling our eyes sometimes. But in the end, I think that we can, we can get some solid insights from this uh, shenanigans. And I'll be here to <laughs> share with you all this, uh, my insights about this. My Royal Rogues, my name is Jesus Enrique Rosas, I'm the Royal Rogue, and remember to download my 100 body language tips in the description of this video. You can also support my channel by following me on my social media channels and pitching me any ideas or videos or clips that you got uh, from uh, whatever topic that you want. Much love and bliss.